can you believe it? Which only means one thing for me, it's a seven ingredient challenge meal time. So, how are you doing? Did you have a good weekend? I did, because oh, I treated my friend to her belated 40th birthday present, which was to go for afternoon tea. Oh, don't you just love an afternoon tea? Oh, I love an afternoon tea. Um, and the highlight of the afternoon tea, other than obviously spending time with my friend, was these little flower pots, edible flower pots, filled with chocolate soil and chocolate mousse. They were lovely. It's really nice. Anyway, enough about my weekend. Let's get down to business. So, seven ingredients tonight were cannellini beans, carrots, mushrooms, spring onions, smoked haddock, fish, so I chose salmon, and passata. Let me show you what's cooked and then we can have a chat. So, here we have it. I went for simple this evening, everybody. I went for a fish stew. So, in there, you can see all of the ingredients. Um, the couple of my top tips first of all with your cannellini beans put everything in the pan don't drain the beans don't wash the beans because you've still got flavor in that juice that the cannellini beans are swimming in and um, the other thing was mushrooms I actually pan, pan fried the mushrooms before I put them in with the stew um, just to bring out a bit more flavour in the mushrooms because um, I don't think they're going to be I think they're going to lose their flavour if they're just swimming around in the juice of the stew so it's that simple everybody it's an easy one tonight so back to me hello 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 so um, if you don't like fish and you're a meat eater what would I have done personally you know me chicken I actually would have and it's and it's not practical to eat so you've got to be prepared to uh, get your fingers a bit dirty but if you brown off some chicken thighs first then make the stew in the pan where you've browned off the chicken thighs and then you need to obviously let the stew cook so that the chicken cooks completely through that would be delicious um, if you're a non meat eater it's very simple you can add some more different types of beans so whether you go adding some um, butter beans as well and I mean you know you've got a pick of all the beans you can have but you don't just want a bean stew you want more vegetables so aubergines great um, courgettes great peppers great fill your boots and it's all that flavor and it'll be a bowl of tomato loveliness so that's me showed you what it looks like I can smell it, it smells delicious I'm going to eat it with a nice bit of crusty bread with lashings of butter I know it's got nothing to do with seven ingredients because it's additional to the seven ingredients but hey ho, that's how I'm going to eat it um, and I'll be back later to tell you it was yummy scrummy or if actually we took the, the crusty bread and we made sandwiches so, I shall see you later. Bye!